classes. This is Vijita. Today I am going to discuss atrial septal defect or ASD. This is the third video of congenital cardiac disorders. This is the congenital cardiac disorders in part 1 and part 2 video complete. So please do watch that. And this is the third video of congenital cardiac disorder. So, congenital cardiac disorder is first condition is atrial septal defect. Okay. So, it is congenital cardiac disorder in which in between two atrium there is a hole found. Okay. So, atrial septal defect is a hole in the wall between two upper chamber that is two atrium. We all know inside the heart there are four chambers, two atrium and two ventricles. These two chambers are separated by atrial septum and ventricular septum. Angane, atrial septum thira, in between atrial septum or hole create a atrial septal defect So Atrial septal defect detail I have to in number. Fetal circulation the basic or point here. This is the fetal circulation. Already in the second video, the second part video the detail I have to But still I will revise here. Uh, so fetal circulation start in the placental with the help of umbilical cord. Umbilical vein very oxygenate your blood heart like it. So it is connecting to inferior vena cava or fetus. From there the blood is moved to this is it is moved to the right atrium. From right atrium usually in an answer to the right atrium usually let the right ventricle like to move here. But in fetal circulation only small amount of blood will move into right ventricle remaining large amount of maximum blood will be pushed from a right atrium to left atrium through foramen ovale okay adhaayitha ee rendu atriyathinte edaike atrial septathila oru bigger aitulla oru hole or it is a opening okay which is considered as a normal for fetal circulation adhe the fetal circulation la even the atrium is a hole which is called as foramen ovale which is considered as a normal thing. Without foramen ovale, left side of heart and blood is not there. And if the right side of blood is not there, automatically the left side will move and move. the fetal circulation will collapse the red lungs. Usually, we have normal circulation in the right atrium to right ventricle. From here, blood is taken by pulmonary artery and which gives blood to lungs. Lungs in the purification kind of initiation, pulmonary vein very high left atrium to make blood to another. But fetal circulation, both lungs are in collapsed state. Okay, fetal circulation is not normal. It 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 is not normal. The lungs are not That is the pulmonary circulation, adult circulation, and normal light. That is the left side of the heart and the blood is receiving the right side. Okay? So, the fetal circulation is right atrium. Usually, the blood is pushed into left atrium through foramen ovale. Okay? So, immediately after delivery, so, with the fetal circulation, see, we have left, right atrium, left atrium. This is the blood moving through foramen ovale. Clear? Okay, we have to foramen ovale. Okay? Delivery is high in the summer. For the baby, the baby will start to cry. So, airway open, lungs open. So, Lungs lake in the blood to a pathway ready. Hai. Okay, and pulmonary artery pressure reduce our game. Otherwise, 
pulmonary artery collect the blood from right ventricle to lungs. Okay, delivery kind of number. Right ventricle in the pulmonary artery maximum blood receive here at the side. Okay. Other fetal circulation in the lungs lungs collapse the state of the pulmonary artery pressure of high in the food in here. Other one than the pulmonary artery maximum or amount of blood at the lungs like a code can lungs in space in the little lungs growing balloon in here. Men's life. Okay. Up delivery kind in the summer can pulmonary artery pressure of the way. Other very left right edge of the lungs. Left edge is the same gradually correlate. Later on, foramen ovale close the fossa ovale site. After delivery, foramen ovale gradually closes and it becomes fossa ovalis. Clear? This is normally some work. But this situation is either this foramen ovale closed. And the patent type is the condition of AST. Okay, so this is normal heart in between two atrial there is no space. Okay, see, compare this picture. This is ASD in between two atrium, that is opening. So, as a result of this, what happens? Other, no other number, just to the types and the camera. What are the types of AST? Okay. So, there are main three types of ASD, uh, osteum secondum, osteum primium and sinus venosus. Okay, this is the coronary coronary sinus ASD, this is the type of type of type, this is the rare type of type. So, three types are just two types, osteum secondum, osteum primum and sinus venosus. Okay, sinus venosus is the other. Atrial septum, this is atrial septum. E atrial septum, atrial superior portion, upper portion, all down the line, sinus venosus. Okay? So, atrial this is atrial septum. So, atrial septum, upper portion, opening iron, a position and sensitive sinus venosus. Okay? Osteum secondum defect, where Atrial septum in the middle. The opening is found middle of atrial septum. That is considered as osteum secundum. Fine. Right? And osteum primum, the hole is found in the lower portion of atrial septum. And the sinus venosus is in the atrial septum in the upper portion of the hole. Osteum secundum, it is found on the middle of the atrial septum. Osteum primum, it is found on the lower portion of atrial septum. Clear? These are the three types. Okay? Out of this, osteum secundum are very common item ASD. So, what happens as a result of this? ASD karma in the physiology are Okay? So, this is the heart with ASD. What happens, you know? Here opening body or shunting narakun. Okay. All three end of the end of the shunting narakun. Usually shunting takes place from left to right. Because left heart pressure is slightly higher pressure in circulation. And either adult circulation level once the baby is out from the womb. Left side of the heart pressure is considered as a higher pressure because systemic circulation always starts from the left ventricle. Okay, the left heart in the pressure on a higher pressure than right. Automatically water will move or the fluid will move from higher pressure to lower pressure. Okay, about ASD left, left side and right side like blood pump either. So left side of the heart contains oxygenated blood and right side of the heart contains deoxygenated blood. What happens here? Oxygenated blood get mixes with deoxygenated blood. So as it is, cyanosis won't be happening. Okay, but you remember from left to right, it is not like mandatory that only left to right. 
left to right shall be done. But there are 20 percentage there will be chances to get a reverse. Opposite. Right to left. I repeat. 80 percentage left to right are not done. But continuously left to right right leg to end. Right leg pressure could be done. To manage that, right to left leg is 20 percentage. Fine. Usually the shedding takes place from left to right since left side heart pressure is considered as a higher pressure. Okay. But there is chance again 20 percentage from right to left when right side pressure increases. Okay. You have to just balance that. Fine. And then right to left shunt may occur as per the uh, size of the ASD. But usually what happens? Left to do right shunting is the usual shunting which happens where oxygenated blood get mixes with deoxygenated blood. Next we will see what are the signs and symptoms of ASD. There will be murmur, irregular and rapid heart rhythm, cyanosis. That cyanosis will be an expected uh, sign uh, in case of severe uh, complication or the later sign, immediately or uh, ASD or initial sign like the cyanosis won't be. Shortness of breath with or without exertion, that would be cough, dizziness, fainting, fatigue, swelling in the hands and leg. See, all of these signs because left and the right leg is shunting the right side leg is blood or water, it increases the pulmonary. Circulations. In the one the pulmonary circulation increase down the look at here. Left and the right leg will go automatically right side will blood in the upper pool. E right ventricle in the pulmonary artery will go blood in the lungs. Automatically pulmonary pressure will slightly increase down the upper pool. Okay, as a result of that all of these signs will be expected. And lack of appetite. Okay, so these are the Signs and symptoms. Please remember, e permitula oro signs um, karmada oro individual um different like ASD the size and symptom, other the position and symptom, signs and symptoms thalo vetya sabran. Usually ASD oro kuti thalo uh, asymptomatic like but ASD obviously yes, other the size um bigger like it, shandi kudal like it naam ko ani gil, there will be chances to get signs and symptoms. How do we manage medical therapy which include diuretics in order to control or to reduce the cardiac workload and antiarrhythmic medications. This is the pharmacological management. Okay. And then surgical correction on usually smaller ASD article surgical correction doesn't require it closes by its own. Time to close out. Other than the surgery, down she will touch a day size lamig. But obviously, yes, bigger size lamig. Yes, surgical correction is required. That is based on the signs and symptoms and the size of ASD. ASD will look particularly continuous item number as a CU. Periodical follow up visits are now. And the initiation of surgery, surgery the requirement uh, as uh, like fixing. Fine. Right? So, surgery. The open heart surgery and catheter based procedure. Okay, surgery is required for a patient with osteum prima and sinus venosus because osteum prima the lower side of sinus venosus it is on the upper portion. Okay, so other food other the food that is associated with the conditions where there is a chance. Other for example, sinus venosus and the upper portion lies on the thane. Pulmonary veins in the opening variations are in the associated structural abnormality where there are chance in that. The same way, uh, primum, osteum primum is the uh, ventricular, like uh, right atrial ventricular valve in abnormality where there are chance in that. Other than the associated right to where you are in the obviously yes, initial time to then surgical correction very well. Right? And smaller defects are closed with the switches. Whereas large defect requires patches made of synthetic material or pericardial patch. Fine. So, catheter based on closer angle, a patient with a second drug, that is, the ASD on the middle of the atrial septum, may opt for catheter based ASD closer. Okay. 
So, nursing management is very, very important. After surgery, how would we take care of a child? Okay. After surgery, closely monitor vital signs, central venous pressure and intra-arterial pressure and intake output charting. Okay. So, we will check the cardiac workload plus cardiac function easy to identify GNH. And arrhythmia need to be assessed and to prevent infections, antibiotic analgesics as ordered and provide a range of motion exercises and coughing and deep breathing exercises. Very, very important because a large cardiac surgery there will be chances to get respiratory infections and other respiratory complications too in order to prevent that early amputation is very, very important. Okay. So what is the outcome nursing care plan? Please remember this. This is very, very important. Outcome is the patient will carry out activities of daily living without weakness or fatigue. Because before surgery, patient had weakness and fatigue while doing activities. Because the cardiac output is not adequate. Because left side of the right leg is not Iotic will receive change of blood and the amount of correct. Left side of the blood is maximum right leg is over. Then cardiac output is over. Then the cardiac output is over. And then the cardiac output is over. And then the cardiac output is over. After surgery, your closing, my, uh, opening and closing is ready. Normal circulation is reversed. Right? So the patient will do all activities without any problem. And the patient will maintain hemodynamic stability, that means all vital parameters will be maintained with a normal limit. And the patient or parent will verbalize understanding of atrial septum defect and next plan of treatment. And the patient will maintain adequate ventilation and oxygenation after surgery. And even uh, during the defect, like before surgery also you have to maintain all of these things. Patient will remain free from signs of infection, which is applicable after surgery. See, cardiac in the abnormality or the congenital abnormality, there will be chances to get infection. Okay, because oxygenation and deficiency come. Other the patient should not get infections even after surgery or during uh, the ASD period. Okay, so that means before surgery. This is all about ASD. Just to know the revise here, ASD, it is atrial septal defect. It is asynotic disorder. Already we will discuss here though, oxygenated blood is getting mixed with the oxygenated blood. So there won't be any cyanosis. So it is asynotic disorder in which a hole is found in between two atria. That is the upper chamber of the heart. Fine. It can be treated with the medications and surgery. Uh, surgery is based on the position of the ASD and size of ASD. Thank you for watching and for further videos, please do subscribe our channel. Thank you. All the best.